basic mistake you saw on the first one. He was jumping, and we see this a lot with athletes that come into the program starting out. They're jumping, they're trying, but what to do and how not to make some of these mistakes are some of the big problems. So, again, take a look when you're out on the court. When you're on the court, you're going to jump high, you're going to work it, but that's not the time you're actually going to create power. How many times you're doing split squats, your vertical jump work, your box jumps, all the different things that go into play, what you do during every rep is going to be the key in you getting that top vertical jump and moving. So watch what happens here as we go through this. See that before with his jump, you see where some of the mistakes were. Now, big thing we take a look at, like we saw before, the first part, he's up at his top point. That's where he's at. That's all he's got. So again, here's where the body is. There's where the thigh, there's the knee, and the foot. So again, when we talk about that, about that triple extension, Watch what happens to the guy on the right-hand side. Where's everything at? Fully extended. So the ankles, the knees, the hips. Not to mention that, where's his chest? Up as high as he can. Where do the arms go? They reach as high as he can, creating momentum as he goes. The guy on the left, arms kind of go halfway. It's like he's doing the wave or something. Happens all the time. Get him up, try and extend. They've got to create power. In order for him to create power, like the guy on the right did, those hips need to be pushed forward. That chest needs to come up big. He's got to extend those knees, push, and he's got to create power by pushing the ground away. Without creating the power, pushing the ground, we don't get up. We're not going to get high enough. This is one of the biggest mistakes we get. The big thing we look at is right here in the hips. That butt stays back behind them as they do their jumps. It has to be tucked underneath. They've got to create power to get all the way up. Workshop at the Phoenix Convention Center this year for the Arizona A for crew. Big part I want you to understand, take out of this, for this clinic coming up, it's not just about jumping and moving around and just another conditioning workout. We really want you to understand the cues and the things that really make a difference in helping you get the word across and help your athletes understand how to truly create vertical power, how to work on their rebounding skills. The reaction time is so important. You can have a 30 inch vertical jump but if you can't react and move over and over on the court, the field, it's not going to make much difference at all. That one-time thing might happen or it looks great in a slum dunk, uh, slam dunk competition, but this isn't about that. It's about playing over and over consistently and being dominant in the field. So you're going to have your tennis shoes. Be ready to go. Make sure you click the link below. It's going to take you directly to the sign-up page so you can learn more about it, see our other videos as well. But it's about going through this and understanding that like me, a lot of us have got some knee issues that we've had from improper training and then working out through the years. That's why it's so important that you understand and feel this. Any of the activities you can actually do, we want you involved in it, even partially. But we want you also to be able to observe the ones that are doing it to pick out what's right and what's wrong so you understand how to convey that message and help your athletes become their best. So we look forward to having you a part of it. If you just can't make this event, Please contact me. We'll see what we can do about bringing it out to your school or club. But being at this event, it's a great time. You're going to get a lot of great people out there. You're going to learn a lot. And uh, we're going to give you a lot of bonuses things afterwards as well to keep working on your training in the program. So make sure you like the link below. Share this with your friends, teammates, and colleagues. Get them out to this event. And let's have a great time. Thank you very much for being a part of the Strength of America family. And we'll see you on Friday, November 4th.